Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. So I thought I would do a little video with you guys in regards to what looks like is going on on my YouTube channel. So it looks like some bullying is going on and my viewers are getting offended. So I wanted to reassure my viewers on how I feel about the bullying. One, I don't like bullying. I think that it's the worst thing that anybody can do um, to, to another human being. But it's how you manage bullies is is the main um, is being able to manage a bully. So um, you can only have a bully in your life if you let that bully be part of your life. And I wanted to reassure my viewers that when you see videos that people are bullying me they don't understand they're ignorant they don't understand what we do as a hobby they think that we're crazy because we do a video that's outside the box and they don't have an imagination and i'm okay with that i feel bad that people don't have imagination and can't open up to new things there are some people that just are a phobic to new ideas and new you know expression um and um i want to reassure people that just because there's a bully on like if you see bullying comments i'm not telling you not to um comment back you have the right for free speech as long as I leave the comments on there, you're able to do that. If I find that it's becoming an issue, then I delete that comment so no one has to see it anymore. Um, so I have done that a lot of the times in the past, but I feel that it is time to now discuss this because I am going to be transitioning and I really think that we're going to start seeing a lot more bullies out there than we have in the past. I know I have a lot more support um, you know, with my, um, subscribers and stuff like that and hoping we can find, you know, get new subscribers and stuff and really trying to get my YouTube channel to be more outside the box than just baby, 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 babies, even though that's definitely going to be part of my, um, every week, um, videos, like you're always going to see the babies. Um, I want you guys to just be reassured that no bully is ever going to stop me from doing a YouTube video. So if I, let's just say for example, I do a Nick U video, I am not going to be like, oh my god, I'm getting so many negative um, comments on it. I'm not going to do another one or I would take it down. And I just want to reassure you guys that that's not going to happen. Um, I am very confident, um, I've been dealing with bullies since I was a kid, and, um, it's just a fact of life, and you only let it bother you if you allow it to bother you. Um, I do need to explain, though, that during the transition, this may be hard, I know that some bullies may try and do this, but it's the, um, the pronouns so I have to watch it too because I remember I just did a video where it said and that's the thing too people are asking me if I'm a boy or a girl in this video and in the video it says with mummy so you would obviously know that it's mummy but mummy's actually turning into daddy and um, I think that's gonna be difficult not just for me but for a lot of the viewers it's going to be difficult but i think as we grow together in the next year and or so and you do start seeing the changes i mean we are going to have a lot of changes um my facial features are going to be different I'm going to be my voice is going to get deeper um facial hair is going to start growing i'm going to have top surgery which i'm very excited about and i also want you guys to be aware of that there are, there is going to be some detailed videos. So, um I know that it's going to it's going to I think in the video like if I'm going to be like ever showing anything or anything like that or if it had to do specifically with F to M and that means female to male, that's what that stands for. 
but it will have F to M in the front of the title and you would know that it has to do in regards to um, transgender and I could be um, showing certain things that I normally would have never shown before. Um, would I do bottom surgery? I don't know yet. I'm debating about it. I don't think I would ever show bottom, you know, like the bottom. I think that would be a little too private. Um, so I haven't quite decided on even if I were going to do it because there's um, many surgeries you have to do. And I'm not going to keep it off the table, but I'd like to see a doctor about it and discuss it because you have to do some skin grafts and I notice a lot of them are doing it one on the leg and one on the arm and I want to see if I can get it both done on the legs I feel like it would make me a little bit more dysphoric if I had like I mean it's literally a scar that goes from here to here so it's a big skin graft and I don't want that on my arm so I don't see why we couldn't take it both on the leg because at least when you go swimming or wear shorts or something like that um, it won't be seen so that's the big thing that I would be discussing with them and if they can't provide that for me then maybe I'll wait like and also we need to know financial and if it you know what covers it and what doesn't cover it and all that good stuff and um, the other thing too is the hysterectomy so I also need to talk to a doctor about that now I have some medical reasons why I need to have a hysterectomy versus um, keeping them. Um, I have interstitial cystitis and it's really painful and during that time when you do get cramps and I know that when you go on tea you're still you may not actually have your time of the month but you're still gonna have um, cramping and that's what's painful for my bladder so um, it's something that I definitely would need to do and I would probably need to do that before bottom surgery so this is definitely going to be, you know, I would say a three to five year uh, process. Um, so people ask me if I'm a boy or a girl and I can't really answer that because um, the sex of your body that you're born in doesn't necessarily mean that's what you are. And um, if you're going to be changing that, then how, um, you know how, um, how how do you answer that question so at this point I'm just saying I'm transgender I'll let them figure it out from there because um, I am I, I've been transgender since I was five so it's nothing new um, family is sick of hearing about it they're just excited and wanting it to be over <laughs> um, I think same thing you know I have a friend who I've known since high school and you know he's great um, I'm sure I'm going to get, you know, when I start looking like a guy, I'm going to start getting treated more like a guy, and will I be able to handle that is the question, too. But I just wanted you guys to know that, like, at this point, um, or I just wanted you to know that I don't want you guys to in any way feel that any negative comments is going to refrain me from doing videos I like. I've never in the last five years have ever let anybody's negativity affect me in any way. I will be doing more NICU videos. I will be doing more videos with the five-year-old. I even got the five-year-old girl kit. I will be doing videos with them. Um, I want to let you guys also know that Christmas, I'm actually not going to buy anything because Dennis had a lot of, he was such a baby. So he had a lot of toys, and I'm just going to wrap a lot of the things, because, I mean, they were still in wrap. They're wrapping and everything. So um, there was a lot of cute stuff that he can just have that his daddy gave him. So um, I think that will be good enough. And um, this will be my first Christmas in the last 10 years that I've had without Dennis. So I would like to possibly put a stocking up for him or... And I've been trying to figure out a couple of really nice things to do. And I'm in the process of doing them. I don't know exactly everything I want to do. But I feel that like no matter what I do, it's never going to feel enough. Or, you know, you, I don't know how to explain it. But, and, um, you know, people are probably going to ask me. They're like, well, 
if you're going to be a guy, what sex are you going to date? And honestly, I can tell you, I mean, ideally I would like a woman, but ideally I just want somebody who I can relate to on all levels. Um, so, you know, because sex is, is not part of a relationship, believe it or not. It's like a very small part. And it's really not part of my life. And would it be able to be part of my life? I don't know. I mean, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm, I'm 36. And by the time I probably find somebody, I'll be in my 40s. So, um, am I afraid to date? No. Um, I'm still too dysphoric to try and do that unless they felt comfortable enough with me during my transition. But I'm not really like trying to find somebody until after um and I would not lie um they would know right up front because I don't need anybody wasting my time just as much as I don't want to waste anybody else's time so you have to love me for me not for the sex I am um they have to love my babies I don't I hear so many times that guys fall in love with girls and blah 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 and now their girlfriends or their wives won't let them you know like my brother um, my mom told me that my brother's wife makes him put his um, Patriot stuff on the Christmas tree in the back and that's just not right that's not fair that's you know that's not happening with me so if you can't accept me for the doll, you can't accept my babies, can't accept um, my dolls, and this, that, and the other thing. If you just can't accept all of me and all my craziness, then we're not right for each other. Simple as that. Um, the other thing too is um, some people. I know one person commented that people uh, do this hobby because they either can't have kids or lost a child and um, I don't know if I can have kids or not I've never tried I know we tried once last year but once trying is not really trying um, and um, now that Dennis passed away, I've decided to transition and hopefully find somebody that I can have a family with later on in life. Um, hopefully not too later, but either way, I would like to foster care to adopt. So, it's not saying that I would never have kids. So that statement for some might be true, but in my case, I really can't answer that question. I don't think it has to do with, it's not a, It's not because of a loss. Um, yeah, I would love to have kids, but it's not the reason, it's not all the reason why. Because if it was, then I probably would not have stayed with the babies as long as I have. So, I really love the hobby. I really love the realism. Um, it's not the only hobby I like. I like miniature stuff. So, like, I like dollhouses and miniature things like that and miniature, uh, trains and... I like Legos, and there's all different kinds of hobbies I like. The other thing, too, is um, I'm hoping to um, try and do some, like, product reviews and, and toy reviews and different things like that to help people out. Um, that hopefully will be by next year, um, you know, because I want to be able to have one of the Reborns with me while we do it. So I'm really hoping that that will be like a cool thing. I want to make it fun. Um, I don't want to make it, um, you know, stupid and annoying. So, um, I want to make it fun and where people would want to watch it. Um, I also wanted to do like a couple of toys at like the dollar store, like what to get, what not to get, and could even do some like giveaways or something. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't decided about that stuff yet. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys, this helped just ease your mind a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't worry. I'm okay. My feelings don't get hurt on these ridiculous, silly things. Actually, it's funny to me. So, don't you guys worry about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here the next time. You guys enjoy your weekend.